Hi everyone. In this part of Laravel tutorial series, we will learn how we can install XAMPP and Composer in Windows operating system. So first of all, I'll let you know what is XAMPP, why we need to install it, what is Composer. After that, we will install uh, XAMPP and Composer one by one. And then we have to check after installation of both of them, like PHP, MySQL and Composer are properly installed or not. And then uh, at last, we'll discuss important interview questions also. So let's move on first question. What is XAMPP? See, XAMPP is a tool that helps us to install PHP and MySQL quickly and easily. Yes, you can also install PHP and MySQL without XAMPP also, but this is a time taking and very uh, effortful process. Uh, for that, you have to download the setup for PHP and MySQL separately. Then you have to install them one by one and you have to set up the environment also for both. So easiest way is directly download and install the XAMPP. It will automatically install both things PHP and MySQL and set up the environment also. So that's why we can say that XAMPP is a tool that helps us to install PHP and MySQL, MySQL quickly. Second thing is what is Composer? See, uh, Composer is a package management tool for PHP that help us to install and uh, update the PHP libraries automatically, right? And with the help of Composer, you can also install and update the framework also. So that's why with the help of Composer, we will install Laravel uh, and that will be the easiest process. After that, let's say you want to update the Laravel. So current version is Laravel 11 and you want to update it in the Laravel 12. So with the help of Composer, you can easily update this. And whenever we are using any framework, sometimes we have to install the external libraries also that we will learn in the upcoming part, like how we can install the external libraries and all. So with the help of uh, Composer, we can easily install the external libraries in the Laravel framework. All right. So now let's see how we can install the XAMPP first and then we will move on the Composer also. So let's open the new tab and simply put there download XAMPP. You can click on the first link and there are lots of version available. You can go with the latest version of Windows operating system. Click over the download button and within some seconds uh, that setup will be start uh, downloading, right? And within that time you can check for now we don't have anything. See, uh, this downloading is just started. There you can see, right? So for now we don't have any PHP version. You can see that if we'll check for the composer, this is also not working. So both are not installed, but after XAMPP and composer, everything will be uh, available in our system. All right. So here you can see that XAMPP is uh, downloaded and you can just double click over this uh, installer setup and it will ask some basic things like on which directory you want to install or uh, what you want to install these things agreement and all. So for that you can simply just uh, click OK and next and that will be smooth installation. Yeah, this is the directory. And OK, this folder is not empty for now because before made, making this part, I was trying to uh, do the things like everything is working or not. So what we can do, we can go to the C drive for a moment. There is a C drive, right? And you can uh, download or uh, you can remove this uh, XAMPP folder. So if there is a no XAMPP folder, then you will not get that pop up, right? And just simply click on the next and you will see that XAMPP is uh, start installing, all right? And within that time, what we can do, we can open up one more new tab and simply put their composer. Just go to the first link, click on the download. And there are two ways to download the composer. First one, you can use command line. Second thing, you can use the uh, set, download and run the uh, exe file, which is setup, right? So we'll go with the setup because this is uh, more comfortable for the beginners. Uh, actually, beginners, they don't want to try much with the command line. So that's better. You can uh, download the composer setup, right? Here you can see that. But after installing the uh, XAMPP, we'll also install this Composer. So let's wait for the XAMPP for now. So all right, guys, uh, XAMPP setup is done now. So we can finish it and we can go for the Composer now. Click on the, uh, you can double click on the Composer setup. And after that, again, this will ask for some uh, uh, 
instructions or you can see that uh, installation options so just click on the next and we are just here to done with the setup of composer yeah this is also done so the next thing is now let's open the new terminal keep in mind you have to open the new terminal after installation of both of them and there you can check for the composer now you can see that composer is working and php is also installed right so uh, both are done now let's talk about some interview questions first interview question you can ask like what is the use of composer that you can mention there as i told you like this is a package management tool for php and with the help of this we can automatically install and update the uh, uh, php libraries and we can also install the uh, framework and update them also all right so yeah one more thing we have to check is mysql in, is installed or not so first you have to start the xamp and with that uh, apache and mysql both are running right so what you can do just click on the uh, any tab and open the local host and there you will find a php my admin so if php my admin is working so uh, this is you can say that a ui framework or ui tool to use the mysql so with the help of xamp uh, MySQL is also installed and PHP MyAdmin also installed. So there you can use the MySQL. So everything is installed properly. Thank you so much for watching this part. In next part, we will learn how we can install the Laravel with the help of Composer. Thank you so much. And if you still have any confusion, any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. This is my Paytm number for donation. Thanks guys.